G'day there folks, I'm Beanie, you're watching Beanie Draws, and this video is all about healing. Healing and recovery. You see, just over a week ago, my mother passed away from a two-year battle with ovarian cancer. And I actually started this drawing possibly last year, sometime this year, can't fully remember because it's been a bit of a blur, but I knew that I wanted to finish this drawing now as a return to action. I didn't want to go back to drawing with dark monsters or dinosaur battles, as fun as those are. I wanted to get back to drawing something a little bit lighter and friendlier to start off with. You see, I actually started this drawing when I was going through some depression because of my mum's cancer battle. I wasn't doing anything, and I found myself dwelling and letting my thoughts take over, and that wasn't healthy. So, I decided I needed to draw something cute. Something friendly to get my mind off things. So I started drawing the foundations of this cuter looking Stegosaurus. It's also the beginning stages of some merchandise designs that I want to start creating. I want to do some t-shirts, I want to do some stickers, maybe other things, I'm not sure, but I wanted to start designing some cute little dinosaurs as merchandise. I also want to do something that's related with cute dinosaurs that can also help in the fight against cancer. So I'm starting to try and think of something like that as well. So anyway, I've been drawing this little guy over the last few months, whenever I've been feeling down or whenever I felt the need to just draw something a little bit lighter. And he kind of went to the wayside as I started my daily doodles and the other art. Again, these daily doodles were my way of not ignoring my art skills to get my mind off things and I guess as a kind of distraction. Because I know cancer is one of those things that well, my mum's battle was two years, and cancer is one of those things that even if you win the battle, it still takes a very long time to win, so I knew it wasn't going to go away anytime soon, and I had to do something on a daily basis to keep my mind off it. But then, mum's health started going downhill, so I decided to spend less time drawing for a little while, and spend more time with mum and my family. And then, mum passed away. And the whole time period between when the last time I saw her really being healthy, which was only about a month ago, which was Anzac Day for Australians, so that was about the space of a month. So she went from being relatively high spirits and looking fairly healthy, even though she had a bloated stomach, and then on Mother's Day, or just a few days before Mother's Day, she was admitted to hospital, and then a week later, she was put into palliative care, which basically means that the end is coming. And a week after that, she was gone. It was just really surprising and shocking to me just how quickly she went downhill. I wasn't exactly sure how much time she had left, but I was hoping it was going to be longer than what she did have. It was basically a week and that really made a big impact and left a really deep void in my soul and I found myself feeling numb and empty for a while. But, like I said in my other video, it's comforting to know that she's with her mum, who also died of cancer, and she's with her father and her brother. And I would say that I'm glad she's no longer in pain, but in the end, she was so strong that she didn't overly show that she was in pain. She was a resilient fighter right up until her last breaths. And even the day before her death, she told us that she wasn't done fighting for women's rights and she wasn't done fighting for awareness and she just wasn't done fighting. And I want to make sure that fight continues. And that's also why I want to try and keep making videos as often as I can. And so, mum passed on from this world and at her funeral, which... Might I add, she planned every detail herself, so it was exactly the way that she wanted it. I think she even wrote every word of her service, or at the very least, with the help of the celebrant, who also happened to be her best friend, which I'll always be eternally thankful for. So it was all exactly the way that she wanted it, and that also gives me comfort. And her final parting words in the service were that she wanted to be remembered with smiles and happiness. She wanted to be remembered for her fight, and how strong she was, and how determined she was to beat this. She wanted to be remembered for her strength, and how much of a fighter she was. So, while I don't really know how you're expected to continue on with day-to-day -day life after the person that, who brought you into this world passes, 
I know that life must go on, and as corny as it is to bring up movie quotes in relation to such a sad time in my life, life does find a way. And this drawing is my way, the starting of the continuation of life. For me, dinosaurs have been a strange kind of therapy. Some people have companion animals and pets. I have my dinosaurs. Cute dinosaurs have comforted me during my times of depression when I found my mum's battle hard to cope with, and I'll continue to use cute dinosaurs as a way to cope and to transition on with this normal life, because I guess this is my new normal now. And I'm not the only one who's lost a mother to cancer. Many have reached out to me during this time to share their stories of support, and I really greatly appreciate that. This community truly is a wonderful thing, and I bypassed 16,000 subscribers during that time. Even during my six month hiatus, when I was struggling to come to terms with my mum's cancer and my own mental health, you came along and you showed your support. I'll forever be grateful for each and every one of you, and I hope my art helps you go through your own struggles, and that's why I want to continue on with even more determination. I want to make my mother's memory proud, and I want to be there to help others who are struggling with their own issues. And drawing may not seem like much, but drawing really is a great coping mechanism and a great way to express your emotions, or simply use it as a creative escape, or as it's a nice creative distraction. So, if you're new here and you want to continue on this art journey with me, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification, and hopefully YouTube actually notifies you when I upload. And I've also selected two other videos you can watch right now to continue that journey. So, thank you so much for being here with me, and I'll be there with you in the next video. Cheerio for now.